Hey, what is up everyone? So in this video we're going to be taking a look at the wireless adapter for the PC. Um, so basically what this does is it allows you to play with your Xbox One controller on your PC uh, wirelessly. So without this uh, you can simply plug in the controller into your computer and play games that way. Uh, but if you have a setup that doesn't really work well with the wire going across the room, uh, this is probably your best bet. So. This is directly from Microsoft, so this does work really well with Windows 10. Uh, you can see there's the pairing button on the top there, but other than that, uh, we have the adapter as well as an extension cable in the box. So uh, this you can plug into your computer, and then the other end you can plug in the USB dongle into there. So you know, in case you have a setup where your computer is tucked away and you need a better signal for this adapter, that's what that th is there for. So pretty simple to set up. Uh, just find a USB port on your computer, go ahead and plug that in. And then right after that, it's basically like setting up a wireless controller on your Xbox One. Hold down both pairing buttons on the controller and the adapter until they both start. Uh, well, the adapter will go solid and then the controller eventually will uh, pair and the light will be solid as well. So that's pretty much it as far as pairing goes. Um, some other things to note here, uh, it does support USB 3.0 as well as USB 2.0 in case you don't have uh, a USB 3.0 port on your computer. Um, let's see, other things, uh, the controller works basically as you would expect. Uh, there is vibration, There's you can use every button basically. Also there is no indicator on your computer of the battery level for the controller so whenever it dies you just that's when it's ready to be charged up again um, so just keep an eye on it if you're in like an intense game or something you're not gonna get any kind of notification saying the battery's low and just like using a controller via wired uh, it's just gonna work with whatever games have it supported so there's a lot of older games that don't support it but most new games support controller functionality so uh, you should be good if you're playing mostly new titles from my experience, the range is slightly less than having an Xbox One connected to the controller. Um, but as far as responsiveness, you know, like when you press the button to when something happens on the screen, it's pretty much like right in line with the Xbox One. So you'll be fine using this for first-person shooters and fast action games and things like that. But I think that's it for this video. Uh, pretty straightforward. It works just as you'd expect. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments section down below. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.